hey, look who's here. Real funny comic, Kurt Metzger. Hey, man. Hey, what's up, Kurt? I saw Kurt last night at the Comedy Cellar. We're hanging out. Yeah, it's very, hip, very right? hip crowd last night. Right? Uh, Don't yeah, you think? Because well, that Louis show, man, brings in the foreign yeah. uh, hipsters. Yeah. No, but I mean the comedians. Don't you think about about one thirty-five in the morning? We're all down there. It's it's me. It's you. It's Big J Okerson. It's Dave Attell. Yeah. Don't you think that's a crowd? A lot of a lot of comedy fans would want to be around. I would want to be, but I mean, I'm not babes, really a draw. A of, so I would, <laughs> a lot of young babes. Don't you think they want to be around? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of hot male ass running amok there. <laughs> Sounds awesome. No, Should have been there. And Kurt is uh, one of the hot young comics. I and, wouldn't say hot. I wouldn't say young either, actually. Yeah, no, no, I, none of those things. <laughs> not any of those things. That was a complete lie. <laughs> <laughs> that statement was... <laughs> no, but you, you actually are. You're, a, you're, you know, you're known as a very funny guy now. Oh, well, cool. I don't know. I That's feel what like your I'm... manager said. Yeah. He's a good manager. Who was your that. manager? Rath, Dave Rath. Oh, Dave Rath. And we used to have the I same manager. I know Dave. Man. Dave's yeah. a good guy. I used to have the same manager as you. Peter uh, Principato. No, the dude that you punched... Oh, Ken Trush. Yeah, that was my first manager. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I punched him. Yeah. But no, but uh, they, listen, Ken Ken was a great guy. He, he was, was a good guy. I was a cokehead at the time. And yeah. we're in L.A. in the middle of a supermarket, and I, I was throwing tangerines <laughs> at him <laughs> and, uh, at 11 o'clock in the morning. And he he he, he, he got, as far as, as my lawyer and myself say, he got in the way of one of my fists. And uh, <laughs> and it wasn't even like a good punch. It was a sloppy punch. But he, he, he was a real nice guy yeah. who did end up help saving my life. But yeah, then you yeah. left him high and dry? Yeah. Well, not high and dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was fine. But Rath is a great guy. Yeah, I really like Rath a lot. He's a good dude. That's a real sort of uh, a busy, important guy. Yeah, I hope. I hope it makes something <laughs> happen for me. <laughs> what do you got going on? Uh, I just got done working on uh, Amy Schumer's Guy show coming out. Oh, Amy. Yeah. I, I've done, I did a gig with her. Yeah. Uh, this anti-social tour with Mia Tell and oh, Jimmy yeah, Norton, be good, man. and I've done it uh, with a bunch of other great comics, but Amy uh, was the first abroad to do it. Yeah, she's and, a funny broad. Oh she? my yeah. God! It, it took, we did it in Minnesota, up in Minneapolis, twenty-two hundred people, and she's a draw, Amy. She's helping us sell a lot of tickets. Yeah, and uh, you know, you got a lot of maniacs. In Minneapolis, it was November, <laughs> chilly. Minneapolis, and, dude. Uh, do, you go to Minnesota. Do you, Minnesota is so. I don't know how to describe that. I always play the Mall of America when I go there. I've I've been there. Which uh, which I mean I like I still want the job, so I'm not I'm not trying and to trash me. So, down? but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but there's a thing like a certain part of like the Midwest where they're like it's like they're like Canadians without the humility. <laughs> exactly. Like if Canadians didn't know their Canadian place, they You're would be right. Minneapolis. People. You're right. I, again, it's like I was saying. You know, uh, Brent is from Kansas. His lovely. Uh, Girlfriend is from Kansas, and the, the twins are, are Midwestern. They're Chicago, Illinois types. Danny's Illinois. It's yeah. a different type of niceness, you know? It's like... It's, I don't like it. It's not like Jersey. Well, like what you're used to. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm not... I don't... I like them, but I'm not into that. I thing. don't like that. <laughs> I'm not into the uh, that Prairie Home Companion you sensibility. <laughs> oh, you mean comedy-wise? Well, or, no, no, or no, just, comedy, like, just like a... Uh, uh, if there's a certain, like, we, like weird... St- I've never... It's like conservative liberal people. I've never seen... You know what I mean? Right. Like, well, even like, exactly. Even the people yeah. that uh, might have marched with Martin Luther King are conservative. Well, because, like, they'll be uptight. I'm like, you're supposed to be the... Yeah. Yeah, that happens all the time, dude. The liberal they crowd seem ends up uptight, being more but uptight they're not. Their the... politics are very liberal. Yeah, and, the commies uh, are worse than the Christians sometimes. I, I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you completely. But why would you, as a young comic... Well, as a comic, why would you uh, completely alienate a part of the country? That is a big part of my act, dude. And uh, <laughs> I do that on the regular. So if you're into me, it's no, no problem. Did, but I like that about you because I've seen your act, and you're not <laughs> you're not compromising. Yeah, but, I'm not. I would like to be. I just, I think why it's why a, would you like to be? I mean, all the great comics, none of them are comp. Richard Pryor. I know a lot of great dead comics that I, I know. Wanna, you want to be alive point. and. <laughs> well, do you think you have to, if if you start to to compromise, it'll make your life longer? You know, I mean, you, you, I just, well, a lot I, of the rebels are dead, is what you're saying. Yeah, like I, you know, I don't, I don't try to be offensive. I, I really don't. I'm not ever well, trying to be for offensive. That. Yeah. Too late for that. Probably. So everything I think that's all the stuff that because I get people like mad at me after shows. Like I just got they fired. They do. Yeah, listen, I don't know what I did that's so bad, but... Uh, well, I'm starting to uh, see it in the air. <laughs> no, what, no what, what do you say that gets... I mean, because I... I mean, listen, no one says... 
not necessarily funny, even a controversial. It's not even uh, mean stuff things, to me, but what, what, what happened? It's not even things that I think. Because there's things I say, I'm like, oh, somebody will probably be mad. They're never mad at you about that. People get mad at you about some weird thing that you like have no idea. Like a throwaway line. Like a throw. Yes, like a throwaway. Like screw you, whore. Like something like that. Like yeah, like I said something. Uh, well, I have no idea what got me booted in Wisconsin, but Wisconsin. Were you at the place in Appleton? Uh, maybe. Skyline. No, no, no. I, no, was, no, no, I yeah. won't say the club. They were Appleton nice and they Wisconsin. paid me. Anyway, you won't so say I'm, not, the, I'm not going to say You won't say the club it rhymes with schmoney bone? It's not schmoney bone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the fa- okay. I can't even get into the schmoney bone. It was... Uh, really? Well, after, after this appearance, that's going to change. I, I made some kind of thing crack. Like I was like, I had no idea there were so many beautiful blonde blonde women here, you know, who have never been told to shut the <laughs> f up. So we're really? tell you now to start. And they wouldn't let you come back after that? I, look, that's the, I think it was probably something like that. Like, just a very, like, well, he's being very misogynist. The town I was in is very, Misogynist. Like, I think the town I was in invented the idea of political correctness. Like, that's where it was invented. In Wisconsin? Yeah, Madison, Wisconsin is where they invented it. Well, I know. Well, now, now it's getting. Uh, now I know where you were. Yeah. It was in Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. I know where you were. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, listen, I've always done well there. I, listen, I was in mystery. It, it, it's definitely an ego <laughs> no, blow to me. No, but but you you're funny enough to where you work the rest of the country. Yeah, yeah. Like where? Uh, Alaska, Anchorage. <laughs> <laughs> I was just the, there last month. In Anchorage, that's a tough place. Yeah, no, I've Dude, been to Anchorage. Anchorage is so, and by the way, I when I go to Anchorage, like people show up. This is the thing. So they're like the people only people show up. They're like the only people horrible enough to really enjoy me. That's why I like yeah. them. You know? <laughs> no, they're very no, I've been to Anchorage too and I've worked there and people are so they got the dark circles under their eyes yeah. up for eight months, like Al Pacino. It's and like insomnia. being a stripper forever. Yeah. Dude. Like yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of sad. They're escaping from something. You yeah, know, like and, and you can't leave because you make a thousand dollars sometimes for no reason. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you get that oil money once hey, listen, month. it's it's a tough place to live. And but they, that's where people need the funny the most. That's where you Yeah, I like it because of that. I like that yeah. about it. And they have uh so, dude, this is how, this is how, and I never use this word gnarly before, but a guy asked whoa, me. Whoa, 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 don't start now. Yeah, no, no, yeah, <laughs> this is what this out? is. Can we say the N-word gnarly? Is that- no, listen, <laughs> this guy, because it's like a joke word. This guy, I'm walking, in a suburban area in Anchorage, some guy walks by me and asks me to bum a needle, like a, like a oh. cigarette. And he's like, hey, man, you got a needle? You mean for heroin? Yeah, I've never in every borough. I live in every borough here. I've well, never. No, asked. that's never. Especially not since the '60s, because you know, because of AIDS, HIV, you can get it with you know by bumming a needle. Well, that has not reached uh, some of the mighty <laughs> you pick people of. <laughs> now they asked you. Yeah, just a passerby, a It'd strange be funny passerby. If you, be funny if you just had one. Next yeah. time you go up there. <laughs> no, I had one, but get your, I work. <laughs> I work for money. What I have. Got a job. <laughs> have you ever shot drugs intravenously? No, I did. Uh, I smoked heroin. You smoked what, black tar? No, I'm such an idiot. I thought it was, my friend told me it was synthetic opium, which I guess it is. Synthetic opium? That's I exactly it what it is. Opium's more yeah. pure. Yeah. Right, but I'm like, opium's not bad. This is fine. I, I smoked it off tin, and the bag said fear you on it. You smoked it off the tin foil? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can't do that. And I didn't know what it, but I didn't know that it was heroin. That's how dumb I was. You got to get a Heineken bottle, and you got to smash a, a, an 80 milligram oxycodone until it's a fine powder. And that's what you smoke <laughs> off the end. Uh, I'll talk to you off the end. Uh, I, the great Kurt Metzger's here. He's hilarious. He's going to stick around for more and uh, join us. If you want to join in on the drug issue, and, uh, <laughs> and if you want to bum a needle, Call uh, 1-888-936-8822 on the Artie Lang Show. We're coming back.